welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so, 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 so excited to be sharing this video with you guys because I'm going to be giving you a tour of my son's current nursery and wait, by the way, if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button to be part of my Shade Fam. I just hit 4,000 subscribers and I just can't tell you guys how much I appreciate your support and continuing to be part of my Shade Fam. So I'm just so excited to give you guys a tour of my son's nursery. And if you guys don't know, if you are new here, I did a nursery tour when my son was a newborn. I did not live in this current apartment. I was living in an attic and I shared rooms with my baby. It was a one bedroom in an attic. It was a no space whatsoever. So if you guys are living in a small apartment and you need to share rooms with your baby, whatever the case may be, go check that video out. You guys might get ideas. That video is the most watched video right now on my channel. It has attracted many many new subscribers i literally gained over 200 subscribers in one month because of that video and i'm just i'm just i just can't believe it you know but i no longer live there anymore i live in a two-bedroom apartment my son has his own nursery and i'm just so blessed yeah so anyways i don't want to make this intro longer than it has to be subscribe hit the bell button and we'll jump right into the deep tour all right so once you come in the first thing you're going to see is the diaper pail and pretty much this is his changing area this dresser i actually got it off of someone from i think Leco. i even drove really far to get this it was for such a good price i think we got it for like 60 bucks and I loved it because she just has this like vintage look to it. But it's a very, very pretty dresser. And this is where I keep most of his clothes. And then obviously the changing pad. This little case thing. Um, I didn't have it here before. But I just put some diapers in here. Some wipes. And then also his uh, diaper rash cream. So I just put that here to have easy access to when I'm changing him and yeah just a little lamp this little cute stuffed teddy bear was given to him by his auntie for christmas and you can actually turn it on here and mix i'm not gonna fully turn it because then it's gonna start playing music but you guys get the point and yeah so i'm not gonna show you guys what's inside here because i'm planning to do a separate video of how i organize his clothes but yeah that is his dresser i'm thinking about getting like a round mirror and put it in here i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this wall but it is blank right now so yeah and then i have this little push cart thing that i got from target and i used to have this on the right side of the dresser but um i actually ended up moving everything around and i'll show you guys that Probably right now. Alright, so here's the play pad. This is where he's been sleeping the past couple days. And the rocking chair. This is not supposed to be here. But, like I said, I am just organizing things and changing things around. Mess everywhere. Box of diapers. Um, the little cart where I organize his diapers and things for me to change him. And the dresser, which is a mess. Dirty clothes. So yeah, so now that the dresser is on the right side of the room, I didn't want the cart to be right there when I came into his nursery. So I just put the cart here. I really don't have much going on here. I just have extra diapers, and his little safety, little blankie. This was also gave it to him for Christmas. But you know, they hold on to this when they're like falling asleep and trying to nap. Yeah, so I just put it here so that that way when I'm rocking him to sleep, I can just grab it easily right there. I just have here some baby oil, some wipes, hand wipes. Um, his, I have some ointment here, healing ointment. Because he's been very dry lately. And his doctor actually recommended this 
for his dry skin and then I just have also this because the last time I went to the doctor the doctor told me that he has eczema so he recommended this cream and that's what I have here for easy access as well ear swabs here um, and then down there not really much just a blankie so I have that card there you can't really see it when you come into the room so yeah and then this little shelf here was actually given to me by my mother-in-law. She used to have this in her apartment and I absolutely loved it and she ended up giving it to me. And I just keep the only books that I have. Obviously, I'm planning to collect more books, but I just put his books here for now. I don't plan on leaving them here for long, but for now, it's fine. And then I just have some photos from my maternity shoot and right there you guys can see a uh, rosary so we kept that in here you know because you can never go wrong with having a rosary but yeah we just have that there and then here is my little rocking chair not the most comfortable to be quite honest I don't know if I'm gonna try to get a different rocking chair or just get like padding for it but this is the one that I use now and I just love how vintage it looks and I got this for like five dollars at a local thrift store so and then here is probably my favorite favorite part of the room I just got this recently well not recently I just assembled it actually uh, but I got this for Christmas for my baby boy and his other auntie got him this. This is where I'm going to be storing all of his toys. I just recently just got this cubicles boxing and I am not a fan of it because I thought it was going to like be actually the same size as the cubicle but it's kind of like a little bit small. I might just end up switching it out. I'm not sure but for now it'll do. But yeah so I actually assembled this myself and it was pretty easy and quick it probably took me about i would say like 30 or 40 minutes you guys can see a little clip of me putting this together it was really really easy you guys and the instructions were easy to understand you know sometimes when you need to assemble things the instructions are not quite easy and makes it even harder to assemble things but anywho yeah so up here what i have is this uh this q frame and i got this well my mom got it for me for my gender reveal and when we had the party i had this laid out in the front my family pretty much needed to write a little note for my son and they either wrote in pink if it if they thought the baby was a girl and if they thought it was a boy they wrote in blue and as you guys can see everybody mostly guest boy so and then I have his um, baby hatch night machine noise machine uh, the baby hatch machine and I absolutely love this I use this every night to put him to sleep and then a little fake plant there and here I have this little this is actually I think this is kind of like a diaper caddy or caddy whatever you want to call it it does have another part where you can put in the middle but for now i just put all of his majority of the toys that he has and yeah so i had this in the living room and when i want to take it to the living room i could just take it with me and i absolutely love this this is by kitty care and you can get this on amazon I really really like this it's so so adorable and very very good quality so if you guys want a caddy check this one out and it's spacious it's big you can fit in a lot on here and then here just have obviously more toys a little stuffed animal then here I just have this piano thing and then here I have these are still in the box but these blocks he's not going to be using this right now i think it says yeah for 12 months and up oh shit and also the one in the bottom is for 12 months it's a little train thing whatever and i just keep them here and then here i have just little extra toys obviously this 
toy collection is gonna build but yeah so this is our little toy area and then here this was a lucky find you guys to be honest so I was um, searching for this online and they are so so pricey and I got so lucky to find this just not inside the garbage but literally on the side of the garbage um, area from our complex and it's like somebody left it there for somebody to grab it wasn't inside the garbage so when I saw this I just felt so lucky I think it's so adorable and yes I sanitized it and all of that but yeah it's in good condition the only thing is missing right there is a handle if you guys can see here it has a little handle right here and the other one's missing but I think I can definitely probably find one and put one there but it's so nice I feel so lucky that I found that and then one of my favorite pieces is this plant that I feel that I got at a good price. I was trying to find one of these fake plants and you guys know these are so, so expensive and I got it just for $40. I'll show you guys the price but right here you guys can see $40. I've seen these go for like $80 and up so I think that was a steal. I got it at Burlington if you guys want to know. I'll try to link everything that I have here in the description box and these shades I got them a while ago at a local store so I can't really link these. So then to the left side is his crib. I love his crib. It's really nice. So you guys know if you guys are a long time subscriber that I used to have a mini crib and I had to switch it out because he was just didn't have the space that he needed to move around and I just felt so bad and sold the other one and got him a regular size crib. This one is, um, I got it on Wayfair I believe, but it's a really really nice crib. I assembled it myself, but whole bedding set I got it at Burlington. It came with that, with the skirt, with the mattress cover. Not this one really because the other one got dirty. But this one I also got at Burlington, a set of two for like $8. I absolutely love Burlington, it's one of my favorite stores. I also got that little stuffed animal, the elephant, at Burlington for like $5. This came with the set, the whale set. I don't keep these stuffed animals when I put my son to sleep. I take them out, but when he's not in here, I put them back in. And then the bumpers I got on Amazon. This crib mobile, I got it off Let Go. Somebody was selling it for like $5. But the sound machine actually broke. And my sister was smart and kind enough of getting me this because the other one broke. And he loves this crib mobile. It has like I think 90 or 100 music. You can just skip the song, you can lower it. The volume to this is really, really good. It gets really loud. And you can just skip the music. Yeah. And then on this little corner, if you guys can see it, but it's the monitor that I have. And it's a good monitor. Um, this is from Target and I got it for my baby shower. And then these frames, oh my god you guys, this was so hard to put up, but I think I did fine. I got the f artwork on Etsy and the frames at Walmart, but yeah, it was actually a set of six, but two of the frames got messed up, so I just put four for now, and then when I buy the other two, I'll put the other ones. But I love the artwork, it's really, really nice. And then to the side, I don't know if I'm going to keep this here, but I just put put it there for now. But it's one of my maternity shoot photos, and it's one of my favorite pictures. And I love this picture, it's really nice. Shows off the belly, and I just keep it on here for now. And then in this one corner, I just have his hamper. This used to be ours, but I thought it was the perfect size for the baby. 
this I got it at TJ Maxx I think a while ago but I love it and I'm not even gonna show you guys the mess that I have in his closet because I'm planning to do a video for you guys how I organize his clothes there's a lot of clothes in there that don't fit him anymore and I need to take out but yeah oh and the rug I can't miss the rug this is my absolute favorite favorite piece of the nursery I got this at Burlington for such a good price it was $50 I got it a while ago but they have a lot of nice um, rugs there if you guys want to check it out but this rug I felt like it was the perfect one for his room because it has navy blue in it and it's just so pretty like I love this I feel like it brings the whole entire nursery together but this is pretty much his nursery you guys I think it looks good definitely looks much better than how it looked before oh I have this little table here I don't plan on keeping it here but I have this little basket and I got this honestly somebody threw it out in the garbage I don't know why but I found it so so cute and I just keep his like bath soaps here lotions for now because I don't have anywhere to put it but I think I can keep this here but not the table and the little salt lamp thing I forgot the name of it this is also one of my favorite things it just gives the room such a nice cozy vibe I hope you guys like it I mean let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite part of the nursery I think everything looks absolutely beautiful I just wanted to make this room really really nice for my son but yeah that is the nursery you guys so I'm so happy how everything came out once again if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to be part of my Shea fam if you guys have any recommendations for videos let me know in the comments down below i would love to know what videos you guys want from me i love to get ideas for my channel don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified of every time i upload a new video and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this nursery and i'll see you guys in my next one bye